Washington, D.C. Dates, October 2nd, 2002. What is wrong? I'm a mother, me. I just shut I don't know. Seven had three wounded. Officers in Virginia, Maryland, and D.C. were brought to their knees by a 17-year-old, Lee Boyd Malvo, and 41-year-old, John Muhammad. Their victims... Welcome back to the channel guys. This is part two of the Lee Boyd Malva exclusive interview from behind the bars. In this part of the interview he talk about the amount of person he where and when and the manipulation that he was under by Mohammed. So I hope you continue to enjoy this interview and see you in the next one. 17. Most 17 year olds know right from wrong. What was different here? What was it that co compelled you or made you think it was okay to all those people? What made it, it's not so much okay, what made it possible was the philosophy. He had me under a, a philosophy that was a mixture of nation of Islam with his own court. So, instead of looking at people as people, I looked at people, for example, Americans per se, at the end. And as a part of the system, a system which he did not agree with and wanted to destroy. See, when I came to high school, I had a lot of questions about slavery, history. Why are we still in this position? When I asked my teachers, a lot of them felt, because I asked very poor questions. And so I did so in a respectful manner, but I wanted answers. As to how, at 400, 500 years later, we're still in a position of, basically, to a certain extent, being beggars and really trying to struggle out of independence to become who we really are. And they couldn't give me answers. You know, they just tell me that's not what we want to discuss in the class. And we're studying world history. That's a relevant question. I would go to him and answer these questions, and he gave me a bunch of half truth and answers. Because I already had enough rage and self rage and self hate. It was easy to twist everything. He didn't get me like Look, when I met him for the first nine months, let's go kill people. It was not like that. The first time I went to the it was not like that. Was, I went through a, a process of a month visualizing myself at the range and shut up in the face. Because we were now who had to become me, Muhammad. Believe. It was, it, was, it was a systematic process of destroying what I was. All this is all your moral compunction. Everything you believe has to in order to become what I need you to be so we can put this family back together. But Lee, from what I understand, you were also from a very young age abusing animals, correct? And f***ing them. So when no, you... It, that was something that was blown completely out of proportion. Okay. In, in, in Jamaica, uh, we definitely don't have a lot of cats. Cats and dogs really don't sleep in the house. Where I grew up, like talking about, they just they just don't. Oh, like all cats. I would throw a stone at him. Did I kill cats, hang cats, burn cats? No. That's not what happened. That was a statement that was completely blown out of proportion. Okay, so Jamaica, let me ask that. let me ask you this, Jamaica, how did it in your mind inform your criminal ways? Did it have anything to do with your criminal ways? What age were you when you picked up a gun? I was years old when I first picked up a gun. So after meeting John Muhammad? Yeah. Okay. Now, see, a lot of things have happened leading up to that. I lived in Weymouth Farm and Tiffany in, the, in between three and seven years old. I had seen, I mean, I've had a police officer's brains on my shoulder when they were doing, doing raids. I have seen violence. There was no therapy, there was nothing, so... Those are things that were never dealt with, never discussed. I mean, I've seen a lot of sick things in Jamaica and lived through on a daily basis. So there were a lot of things. It was not, there was the switch and 
Before that, I'd never been expelled, never been suspended, never been arrested, never did anything violent. If I had found a mentor who was willing to help me to deal with what I was going through and lead me in the correct direction, I was in high school. I was about to graduate at 15. Everything was... He took that rage and anger and self-hate. A person that hates himself, hurting people hurt people. It's just so easy for someone who's in rage and hates himself not to value life. How many and people did you hurt, people. Lee? Because during the D.C. sniper shootings, 10 people were three others injured, but you said you've committed multiple other crimes. Can you Correct. recall how many people you've killed in total that you pulled the trigger and Correct. Correct. Hello? I would, I would say... Over probably somewhere between 22 deaths. 22 I, deaths? I, somewhere between 20 to 20 to 24. You've personally 20 to 24 people. Well, see, this, for example, I went through a process of training for months, which involved robbing, robbing and assassinating whether it's murder for hire, killing people, robbery, with guns, with knives, with just your bare hands. And I would evaluate it after each quote unquote mission. It wasn't the process of, I just got up one day. It was a systematic process as if you were training someone. That's how it was, that's how it was done. So during that process, I'm building up to what eventually happened. From what I understand, you reached out to some of these other victims that you either wounded or reached out to their families. The last interview said that with Matt Lauer. What was their response when you reached out to them? Well, in all honesty, the ones I reached out to actually made an effort to reach out to me first. And that gave me the opportunity to actually speak to them. And the response for most of those that reached out to me first, there was pain, there was anger, but one, I think they were able to understand what I was saying, because for the most part, they were moms who had children that were my age. And once they heard what I had to say in that, I went to pick them off the street one day and told them, this was a process nearly two years in the making. It wasn't the same thing happened to child soldiers every single day. This is nothing strange that doesn't happen on a regular basis in the world we live in. It just happens to happen here at this point in time. It happens every single day. The email goes in every single day. In I find that hard to fathom that there's a Lee Boyd Malvo being created every day that somebody could be so damaged that they would think it would be okay to go out and wreak such havoc on different people, so many different people. You said somewhere between 20 to 24. I, I, it, 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 I, I, don't, I don't know if you understand complete control. I don't know if you understand when someone has complete control. The best analogy I can give you is when a woman stays in an abusive relationship for years, up until the point that she gets and gets to the point that people can be that damage in which they're willing to accept that. It happens. And that, that individual, that abuser, has total domination and control. The moment it gets to that point, the other party just pretty much a mental reach. There is a body, but it's really not a person. That's what happens. For me to explain to you what it is for someone to control your diet, when you see, what you see, what you eat, what you listen to, to go through hypnosis, to go through meditation, to go through centering techniques. It was a complete 24 hours. There was no stop. There was no break. There was no time to sit. Once 
Lord might trust. He pretty much had everything. He had everything, Lee. That's what you say. The question that has bothered me the most is, what did he make me capable of doing? And he pretty much would have boiled down to this. You really don't care about dying? You regret and you're very angry and rage in your brother choice? And you hurt yourself? It is not at all hard to hurt others. Lee, are you looking to bring the story of this abuse and this control to light now because you're hoping perhaps for some sort of sympathy from the general public? I noticed this week your lawyer...